everyone, so this is my brewery breakdown for the Cupcake Kingdom video. Well, to make this video, I actually had to make a crap load of cupcakes. And I had bought eight boxes, but only used six. And a lot of people were asking me in my comments, well, you like had barely 12 cupcakes. You know, why did you need six boxes of cake mix? Well, for one, that giant cupcake that was in the middle, that one took a lot of like cake mix. That was probably like two or one and a half boxes on its own. And I made two of those because there was originally supposed to be two um, giant cupcakes for the video, but turned out a little bit differently. And plus, I wanted um, a really good cupcakes, and in order to do that, you have to bake a lot. And a lot of people were asking too, with that many cupcakes, what did you do with all of them? Mmm, that's a good cupcake. Oh yeah. Yeah, that pretty much goes for all of them. Ate them all, so good. Another thing um, that I used was fondant. Instead of just using regular icing, fondant is like this really thick um, icing that's kind of like clay. What you do is you ice the cupcake first and then you roll out this fondant and you could add dye to it. I don't add food coloring, I actually use this this special dye that you have to buy and um, I knead it into the dough, uh, or the fondant, I'm sorry, and it, turns out to be that like whatever desired color I'm looking for. And that's what I did for the um, for the giant cupcakes. And then I cut out little strips and put them on the all around the bottom base of the cupcake too. And that took a lot of time. Another cool thing about this video is um, a, like all of the set uh, we made ourselves. Of course, I mean, you know, you could use a lot of props and stuff, but like literally we uh, used like cardboard and a whole bunch of paint for our cupcake costumes and um, Dave is actually the person that painted the cupcakes. Now the actual castle structure itself was made out of styrofoam. Um, you think it would be really really simple but it, it kind of it took a little bit of work. So these are the foam parts to our castle. And what I'm going to be doing is I have to paint each of them piece by piece because tomorrow when we do the stop motion I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have to glue them on uh, individually as we're going because it just it works with the video. So this is the bottom part, and then this one goes on top. They're all different colors, and these cylinders work as like they're gonna be also other pieces to the castle. It's gonna be really cool. We're gonna cut off the tops a little bit and add the discs to it. It's gonna be really really neat. But I have to paint all of them individually right now, so I'm gonna let them dry. So hopefully in the morning they're ready to be glued. It was funny because when I was editing the um, the clips, the individual frames, there was a lot of them where Anthony was still inside of them because he had to go through and uh, glue them, like I had said before, um, after each frame. Like we couldn't put it together all at once, we had to do it little bit by little bit. That's kind of why the, uh, the picture camera moves just a tiny bit. Another thing about that, it was really hard for me to keep a straight face if you look at um, the video again. Like, I'm just making really random, like, faces just out of nowhere. As he was going in and gluing them in, it's like I had to stay, like, making, like, a weird pose as he glued it. And it was, it was just, it was really hard to do. It was funny. Um, the other scene was where I was falling out of the sky, how I, um, had transformed out of the cupcake because I jumped off of the little cupcake kingdom. And, um, we had to, we had to get that all on the green screen. And um, I was just making really weird poses and I had to make it look like I was actually, you know, like, like falling. Really, I was just standing and like, you know, I was on one foot or just trying to do something random. But it was, it was kind of awkward. It's always weird when you have to like do stuff with green screen. So another difficult part about this video was getting the initial uh, zooming into the castle where I had turned into the cupcake and I was like inside of the castle. We had to do that so many times. Um, actually, one time we tried with the skateboard and putting the tripod on the skateboard and like me lowering it. It was it was a mess. But I mean, we eventually got that shot. But that had to wait until the very end. And that brings me to like the next point is the way that we shot the whole uh, the whole video was it was really different because instead of like going through it by each scene, like how I usually do when I do music videos, I had to do this one um, by each part because the camera couldn't move. So that was definitely challenging as far as like 
acting went and like seeing it play out in my head it was just it was really different but it was exciting to do this was my first um, stop motion video ever and I had a lot of fun doing it um, the only thing was probably the editing was a really killer I shouldn't have done green screen I knew what I was getting into but I really really wanted to um, I really wanted to do it and my lighting wasn't set up nicely so um, I couldn't just render the whole video and then key out the green screen like as one whole video I had to individually go through and key out every single clip which was like uh, 800 and something um, individual clips and then on top of that I didn't realize I was wearing a shirt that had green in it so I had to go through and I had to mask out the green and then another thing is that um, I guess yellow keys out on a green screen I didn't know that either so I had to um, put a mask on anywhere that was yellow and then one of the cupcakes were kind of like it was kind of teal so it picked up on the the green screen when I keyed it out so I had to mask those too so if you watch the video again you can kind of see where my masks are but um other than that I had a really good time making this video and um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it and that's my brewery breakdown